Hey guys, what's going on? It's Derek, and in today's video, I wanna show you how you can sample colors from anywhere on your screen. Now, there's four different tools that I recommend, and I'll show you which ones are my favorite, but the first one's just a quick tip. We're gonna jump right into Photoshop, and I wanna show you something that you may or may not know. You can actually sample colors from anywhere on your screen within Photoshop. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna jump into a new document. Doesn't matter what size for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to crunch the window down a little bit. I'm gonna hit the letter I, to get my eyedropper tool. And if you're not seeing that, a couple things to look for. One, up here on the top right, you can set your workspace, change the workspace, or maybe reset the workspace, and you should be able to see that tool. Or else click on these three dots down here on the side and click and hold, and you can see all of the tools available in your menu. So anyway, once you get the eyedropper tool selected, click and then drag off the canvas anywhere, and you'll notice that my cursor is picking up my desktop colors and I can let go and it'll sample that color and now I can work with this in any document. Now one thing you'll notice if I do that again we gotta start on the canvas holding down the mouse we're gonna click off when I come down here on my icons let's say I wanted to sample this purple color from these icons down here well you'll notice it doesn't sample it so I'm in the new Mac OS Catalina so what we need to do is go into our system preferences come over here to security and privacy so under the privacy tab, what we're gonna do is scroll down, we're gonna click on the screen recording tab here, and I can see that Photoshop has requested to see the contents of my screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that checkbox to give it permission. I'm gonna go ahead and quit Photoshop. I don't need to save this document. So now that when I relaunch Photoshop, it will be able to see everything on my screen. So let's say I've got a YouTube video open or another browser window, or in this case, those, those uh, those uh, icons in my dock, it will be able to see those now. So I'm just gonna click to create a new document real quick. I've got my eyedropper tool, we're gonna click and drag off. And now when I hover over these icons, you'll see it can sample those colors. So now if I'm doing something on my canvas, I can quickly and easily grab those colors. All right, so now with that color selected, that new purple color we just sampled, what I'm gonna do is actually add that to my library. So I'm gonna come up to window, down to libraries, and that's how we get this libraries tab. And I'm just going to, uh, let's just jump into my, this is my library, just a generic library here. And you can create new libraries for different brands or different companies or clients you might be working with right here. You can click on create new library. Let's just call this uh, sample library. We'll click create. So what I would do now is I would click on this little plus sign down at the bottom and click on the fill color which will add this color that we just sampled to my library. And now I can use that color across all of the Creative Suite apps and I can sample it from anywhere. All right, so that's how I sample colors from anywhere on the screen using Photoshop. But there's a couple other apps that I like that have worked really well for me in my workflow. And the first one that I wanna talk about is called Sip. So you can buy it, it's a $10 uh, app. I, I purchased it a long time ago and I love it and I've become comfortable with it. There's another alternative to Sip called Slurp and that one's free, you can get it in the app store. So if you don't wanna spend any money on it, it will work just as well. So let me show you those two apps right now. Now the first one, again, is called Sip. I already have it running, it's up here in the top of my uh, options bar here so when you install it it'll just run in the background and I can click on this little icon and I can immediately sample colors from anywhere and I think what I love most about SIP is that it's just hanging out right here for me to use I've got shortcuts that I can set up to quickly activate the color picker and then it remembers the colors that I've sampled recently so usually my brand colors are hanging out here and I can just double click on that and it'll load it with that hex value that then I can paste anywhere or the other thing that I could do let's just say I'm in pages or working maybe in a Google document I'm just gonna make a new document real quick I'm gonna scroll down through the templates and I'm gonna make a new book an ebook here right here and we'll click on that. And let's say I just wanted to apply some simple colors to help it feel cohesive and look like my brand. So I'm gonna double click on this title and I've got the format bar under the text. We're just gonna change the text color. And instead of clicking on the drop down here, I'm gonna click on the little circular rainbow color picker thing here. And I can choose how I wanna select my color, but more importantly, down here below, I see that I've got these little um, swatches of color. So what I can do from SIP, I can open this window grab any of the colors that I want. So for example, this light sea green, and I can click and drag that swatch and drop it down here 
into my favorites and it'll add that swatch. So now when I click on that, it will immediately apply it to my text. So if I didn't have my brand color in front of me when I opened up this text edit window, there is still this eyedropper tool and this would work on everything as well if I want to sample a color. That's amazing, that's great to use if you don't have Photoshop. But what I wanted to show you more importantly is the way that I can set up these swatches with my brand color so that way no matter what app I'm working in, this color picker will default to those colors and it makes it quick and easy to update uh, my graphics to the brand that I'm working on. So it makes it really simple to click and then all of a sudden, you know, everything is cohesive and looks like it belongs together. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is Slurp. So Color Slurp right here is the icon for it. It's a simple app. You can get it in the App Store. It's free. And this is another way uh, to grab colors. That, you know, all these at the end of the day end up doing the same thing. So it's just a matter of what works better for your workflow and what might have the features that you want to use. But for this one, same kind of deal. It has shortcuts. I can click on the eyedropper tool. I can select a color anywhere on my canvas. It'll slurp it up. And then I've got the hex value here that I can copy or I can change how the colors are displayed. I can even create collections as well. So there's another option for you to use. All right, and the last method I wanna show you, which is actually my least favorite, but I figured I'd at least show you guys that it's an option, is called Digital Color Meter. So in on a Mac, you can hit command space and just type in digital color meter and it should show up already by default. We'll hit return and here it is. It's very basic, uh, but real quick, the two things that I wanna show you you're gonna to wanna to use to use this effectively is come up here to view, change the display values from decimal down to hexadecimal, and then your shortcut key is going to be shift command C. So wherever your mouse is, hovering over, make sure this is open. Uh, whatever it's hovering over, hit Command Shift C and it will copy that value to your clipboard and then you can paste it in somewhere. So um, again, it's just an option. It's a very, very basic tool. It's my least favorite, but it is something that is free and you already have at your disposal. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned a ton of valuable information. If you wanna learn more about graphic design and actually start from beginner, absolute basics, all the way up to advanced techniques, learning real world projects, don't forget to check out my graphic design bootcamp course the links below. You can also join my graphic design bootcamp vault, which gives you access to everything I've ever created, as well as an exclusive community and direct access to me for feedback. I'd love to see you in the vault. Check out the links below for that as well. All right. Thanks everybody. I hope you enjoyed and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already and tap that little bell for notifications. We will see you in the next one.